Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Paul Trana here with the one and only Sasha Vinogradova. Man, it's getting better and better. Oh, <laughs> nailing it. Yes. Such a cool, cool name. Uh, we're super happy to have you here. Yeah, happy to be here. I'm very and excited. Yes, I'm excited as well. Uh, some of your awesome artwork behind us. And I uh, just want to welcome everybody, Helmut and Heidi and Jan Eric and Ricardo, like everybody joining us. Yeah. Day three. Thank you how so you much. How are you feeling? Like, watching. day three, you're like, day one, you're a little, what, how you like a little nervous? Day two? Yeah. More of a rhythm? I, 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 what? How I you feel feeling? good. I feel good. Uh, just, uh, I feel like there's so much more I want to share. But, oh. But, um, you I'm go also... right ahead. Don't even feel bad about going fast because it's being recorded. Yes, okay. I, I will not. I'll try to just spread it out. Most importantly, like, have fun. Because when you're, you, <laughs> Hello, I've noticed, guys. I mean, you've been in, in the industry for like a good, like, 13 years or so, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. you used to do web design. Like, you oh, have yes, a whole yes. history. Yes, I, I did all sorts of design, starting with like a game development, then uh, web design, then key art posters for movies, TV shows, and, and now I work in the motion industry. I'm working in a company called The Meal, and this is like just one of that's what that's that's what I hear. Yeah. Like, oh, I actually learned that lots of my coworkers and friends are watching, so I just want to oh. say hi to everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello, yes. everyone at the mill. Yeah. And everybody who's not in the mill. Yes, and as everyone well. who's watching in the chat. And Huge. by Hello. the way, she's been bragging a lot about the mill because yeah, you're. I I, I'm like you are amazing, and you're like you should see the people I work with. <laughs> I know. And I'm like, I can't even picture that. You're already blowing my mind. I'm like, And everybody is really thankful that you're here. Mm -hmm. Dana Pride doesn't want it to end. Thank you so much for joining us, Dana Pride. Dana Pride, again, awesome to see people, cool people in chat. Mm -hmm. Dana is like a prolific writer. She's written like 19 books. Oh, wow. And she's like hanging out. Amazing. So having this sort of talent, oh. Paul Alvarez, Yuri, everyone. Uh, so my yeah. It's happened sometimes. Oh, uh, just break it. Button uh, fell out just because <laughs> I like to squeeze my like pen like this. So oh. it's just not a good uh, habit. Not, not, a good, <laughs> not a good habit. But I, what I do like about you is again, even after having all this experience, um, you're you're very much passionate about what you do. You get excited about things, and people sometimes lose that. You I know, think, after a while. I think in my case, like changing, switching industries helped a lot because every time you start uh, learning something new, it's like. Oh wow, this is this, this whole thing I never whole knew new. about. And you're kind of just shifting a little bit. Yeah, it still it's like, might be design related or Absolutely. Visual. It's just enough to like have some fresh air coming, but uh, uh -huh. it's like uh, you still use the same uh, skill set pretty much. Yeah, that's good. And that's what I tell every people like understand visual design, composition, using color, all the fundamentals. Yes. It's all it's just the same. The tools will change. But the, the fundamentals will yeah, stick with there. you. And even, I think you've been working on that a lot. And I kind of want to dive into your screen and sure, what yeah. we're going to do. Because I think you do a lot of things intuitively just because you have this like design background and you have this really good eye. And you also have like an engineering degree or something like that. <laughs> so just like stop that, it yes. already. I feel so, like, what was I doing? Just like watching Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> You're I, getting hey, a degree, whoa, whoa, whoa. and I'm like, what's on MTV? What? Be uh, hey, I was, I was, I was there too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, remind you guys what we were doing last two days. So the first day, I had um, an illustration, uh, which you can uh, check in the previous stream, like how to turn photo into illustration, and then uh, the second day we did this collage with more like a portrait stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, I actually shared the, um, oh great, no internet. <laughs> yeah, that's can you, okay. Can, can you uh, switch? Yeah, we I'll, I'll gotcha. just. I actually have the internet, I just need to. Sometimes it, it does not connect. But yeah. no, I think this is really good and for those pieces. So basically what we're gonna be giving you uh, are like the resource files. Yeah, so I just wanted to share. I uh, just uh, created a project on Behance sharing all the files so you can guys use it. And uh, I'm just trying to connect to internet. Yeah, and I want to kind of point out, I'll, I'm going to just, I, okay. okay, you got it. Should now. be good. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Switching, are you ready? There yeah. you are. Ooh. So, uh, if you guys go to my profile, I had I had everything shared here. You can grab day one, day two, day three. So, please. 
And diving. So by diving. the way, yeah, just go jump right over to the info tab and you click on Sasha's yeah. name and that's where that's posted as a project. Thank yeah. you for doing that. My pleasure. Yeah. It's like, you know, <laughs> no, I, like... I, that's how I learned. Like I was just grabbing mm -hmm. uh, people's files and dissecting it and be like, oh, so this, this, this becomes this awesome after this, uh -huh. like filter layer, whatever. And I've been very lucky to actually work with uh, people who been doing it for a long, long time. And we had just like this common server where we would share files and they were super cool about like just sharing their work and sharing yeah. their process. So that's just how you learn. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And thank you so much for that. Not only that, so you actually have the source files, plus you're watching today, you can ask questions, you can watch the replays and actually see how you put it together. So yes. go back to day one, day two, Absolutely. and the corresponding files. Okay, so um, this, um, um, today I'm going to show some landscape and like matte painting techniques because I wanted to cover different subjects. So I had illustration, collage, so, um, uh, today will be more of the uh, landscape stuff. As always, my favorite process, I start with references. That's like how I just starting, how I'm getting my inspiration. This is the process where like, you you know how like in the beginning you don't want to work? You're just like, oh, I'm so lazy. And you just start getting references and you just get so inspired that you're just like, okay, I gotta do something too. Yeah. So to okay. me, it's a vital step, just amazingly vital step do it <laughs> yeah I'm into it because you're like you're like I just want to go look at cool stuff yeah, kind of, yeah. but really what's happening is you're like you're doing this research you're developing these like Pinterest boards that you can yeah. reference later or saving these files down yes and this is this is fascinating like this is a this is an entirely different look than what we had yesterday yes so I really wanted to show different um, looks different approaches so people can learn more um, and uh, here I wanted to go with this uh, landscape look, uh, a little bit moody, a little bit foggy, um, something uh, as I like to have a little bit creepier maybe, but romantic and uh, moody. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so this was my main inspiration board. I didn't know what I want to do, uh, but um, like I really like this uh, idea with this like giant skull and just this idea of like um, land land of giants. Uh, plus um, this particular project, I I didn't have a chance to. <laughs> Someone's asking what is banana. What is what? <laughs> what oh, is banana? banana. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, uh, it's a awesome Photoshop. Uh, is, uh, is, East, Easter egg. Easter egg, yes. So the, the thing is getting rid of it. No! No, 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 no. I'm not saying get rid of it. But you could turn it on and then it's yeah. it, like it you I, I I've been able to turn it on like turn it on and not get rid of it. Like the banana's like always there. Yeah, wait. Because I think it's a different I... shortcut that we can't. No, figure. no, no, no. Oh, you it's got it? control okay, alt. So if you guys want to get a banana. It's and many other tutorials, <laughs> very important skills. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you just go here and with the, I think it's control alt, click done. Oh no, it's different. Wait, wait, wait. It's shift. Yeah, it's uh, shift there. alt. Shift so shift alt. alt brings it, control alt removes it. There Banana, very important. Banana. Uh, I sometimes like to just go to my coworker's desk and switch, 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 switch that tool to banana. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> Or if they don't know about editing the toolbar, you like just remove a tool. That you'd be such a jerk. Like yeah. A jerk. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Are you are you up to date on your Creative Cloud subscription? Because they start removing tools. What? Yeah. No, that's not true. Oh. Wouldn't that be horrible? Yeah. <laughs> like you're five days over on your payment, and tools just start disappearing. disappearing. Like, ah. <laughs> ah. That is, so that's no, a very that's brutal a way. No. Okay. So. Coming back to um, this project, um, I uh, looked at those references, looked at the stock pictures, stock images, um, and uh, I found this awesome um, like skeletons of the whale uh, whales in um, in Adobe stock, um, and I wanted to use it. I, I thought like, what if there's like a giant uh, skeleton of the whale um, 
end up maybe there are some floating whales it's like this land of the giant floating whales and they oh. sort of like came to visit their like dead ancestor or something okay Just, into it yeah um uh. so let's start with uh looking at my first uh work in progress file, which is like the sketch. By the way, so everybody knows, we do have the portfolio, we're doing portfolio reviews today. So check out the portfolio review tab, submit yours, and in uh, 45 minutes, well actually longer than that, like 85, we will review those. And then we're gonna do a random giveaway mm -hmm. as well today, just for fun. So my original process was like, I was looking in a different composition. I got a um, bunch of, um, uh, uh, stock images of the landscape uh, and uh, I didn't know what I wanted to use so I was playing with just rough compositions of it. I knew that I'm going uh, to have this foggy moody look so I was just gathering stuff uh, which kind of has this vibe. Uh, plus just sort of an advice it's very it, the easiest way to make uh, landscapes comp, comps is with the foggy images because they do not have a direct sunlight. Mm -hmm. So all the um, all the objects is just pretty much like ambient occlusion, uh, softer shadows. It's just easier to find images to combine and uh, easier way. Like for example, if you have uh, an environment with a like direct uh, sunlight, you okay. have to find all the images with the same exact direct sunlight and sharp shadows, and sometimes it might be tricky. That's I, a good. I really like going with this, like uh, that's a good tip. Foggy day look. So yeah, I agree. So if you are if you are new to like compositing, and you want to composite a couple images together, be just aware of the light because yes. you have to match it. Yes. But as opposed to these, it's like a very much an ambient light. Yeah. It's like, I feel, I'm just reminded, reminded of Anna, Anna McNaught's work. She's been dealing with reflections and light source, like all these things been very complex. Yeah. But this is an even better place to like get started. Yes, which is so good. I, uh, and I just generally like this mood. I like it better than just direct sunlight or, um, for example, the sunrise uh, will work pr approximately the same way. Still, you, you do not really have a harsh shadow when it's like sun is still uh, below the horizon, but you have this awesome like... Uh, like haze? Yeah. So oh. there are many ways for this. Um, you know, there are many different light situations where like you have this soft shadows. but. I gathered a bunch of photos and I started collecting them, putting them into the compositions. I had like some cool compositions. I like this one a lot. I think it might be very successful if like I proceed with that. I had this one. I, I, I thought it would, be, would work too. But I ended up liking this one the best just because, I don't know, I just I, I just like the like coloration of it the best and mm -hmm. just the photo was my, one of my favorites. So I'll just start from the very, very beginning. Um, as I said in day one, usual proportion for the um, foster stuff is uh, 2700 by 4000. This is like a default, which you start with. Cool. And yeah, good. I was just gonna say welcome. Hey, Chad. Chad Rolfs, the uh, senior. He's, he works for Adobe. Oh, nice. He's an engineer. I think working on Photoshop. So we have people working on oh Photoshop. Oh my God! This is like a very, very so he's, important. He's person. open <laughs> to taking requests. Like if you have a feature, you just throw it out there, and he'll mm. like. I think he'll get right on it. So. Yeah. Well, this is kind of <laughs> overwhelming. You, you need to think about it. <laughs> so I already have uh, images I licensed, and um, this was one of them. I'm going to uh, first. I'm going to uh, fill fill out the entire canvas with the actual image because obviously it does not have um, enough uh, picture on top and bottom. Top obviously is easy. It's just a solid color. Uh -huh. With this one, um, I'm just uh, going. Nothing fancy, just a regular stem tool. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Cool thing with a stem tool, look at this current layer, mm -hmm. current below, all layers. It's 
tremendously helpful. Uh, like for example, uh, if you do current layer, like nothing will work here because a layer is empty. Uh, but if you do current and below, you actually can feature uh, whatever spot you want on the image and start painting. Um, and sometimes this, like all layers in this situation will work very well, but like current and below wor works very well when you have already like a bunch of adjustments layer on top and you need to, uh, and you, you need to, uh, uh, work just below that. I actually uh, think the easiest way for me will be use this part of the image as a base. That's good. Yeah, so, and then I'm using the, uh, using my masks to paint mm -hmm. into the, into the image. And I don't need to be very particular about this area. Uh, because I know I'm going to darken it later to have this like vignette going on. Okay. Uh, so it will not be the center of the composition. So I, I, I can just... Uh, yeah, just make like, sure you don't like yeah. have uh, maybe half of the rock. Otherwise you're good. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And yeah, it looks like Chad. Yeah, somebody wants Adobe Coffee. Adobe uh, Coffee? I think, I think Chad's working on it. Which <laughs> Adobe does have coffee in it. Do you know that? Do you know where the coffee shortcut? Coffee. Oh, the, I, I I saw the uh, toasts, but I didn't know about coffee. Surely. Yeah, just real fast. It's in preferences right here when you go to change. Uh, shift. It should be shift. Hold on. Let's try this. Uh, yeah. Shift I about command. Ooh, shift wow, command will coffee. give you. You go espresso, cappuccino, uh, latte, flat white. Hey guys, this Something is like this so is yes. vital, vital yeah. advice. This is very uh, important. If you Chad actually just did that. Thank you, Chad. Awesome. And he pushed it out there, so thank you. This is great. Like for a person who spends like half of my life in Photoshop, well, <laughs> it's very <terrible>. important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have this canvas. We're good to work with it. So just grouping it, call it the ground. Good. So then I was uh, playing with uh, like a skeleton. Um, I had some cool images, but then I thought this one will work the best. Mm. I thought to put it um, here on top of this mountain, like that's the, like a humongous skeleton somewhere in, um, in the background. So let's dive in. And again, that's a good. This is going to be a nice clean one. Fairly clean to select, too. Yes, and... Uh, uh, it's, a, it's really complex, but it's I'm so happy that there's like that blue back there. Yeah, I was trying to find something which like looks like a complex sh uh, shape, but with a smart approach, you can make it pretty fairly easy. So uh, there are different ways to do that. You either can do select color range and just like clean clean it up. So sampled colors, yeah, which is definitely like old school. Oh, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right. I mean, it's been around for like yeah. ten years. Just an advice, like when you pick a color, if you call a uh, hold shift, you just add into the colors. Mm -hmm. So see, like I'm just. And I think there's a. Oh, I'm sure there's probably other tips and tricks in there. I yeah. just don't remember right now. Yeah, and you can. Uh, so I, I inverted my selection. I always like to refine my edges. So play. Selecting select and mask. Yeah, select and select and mask. Uh, sometimes it's good to turn smart radius and um, uh, uh, smooth and contrast, not to have this like hazy edges. It will add, like if you add smooth to it, it will create those little um, like inserts here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the, if there's lots of sharp corners, does yeah. it affect those? Yeah, so th it will affect those. Sorry, just um, I accidentally selected stuff, and now I have to undo that. And here we can. Sorry, my Photoshop being a little stubborn. So, and uh, I can shift the edge, so we have. Um, we don't have this edge selected. And that's a that's a tough edge to select because you have yeah. one side that's a highlight a white the other edge is darker. Yeah. Um, so you know 
this is one and way. it's highly detailed. Yeah, and here you it have... Looks great, though. Yeah. Right? I think that's looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, just wanted to show another way to do that. If you... Um, because you have this blue color, you can go to channels and select and pick your uh, selection by the channel. So this one mm. will work very well. Blue. I can copy it and paste it. And uh, same deal, I'm just... Uh, I've never done that before. Yeah, and you can use your burn and uh, dodge and burn tool to work on it. Like, th in this particular case, we don't need to do that because the color selection worked very, very well. Mm -hmm. But this... That's a pro tip, what you just did, though. This is a great, great way, for example, um, if you need to cut out clouds. Clouds, like, so... Are you going to have lots of blues? And yes. That kinda... So, let me show you. I'll just grab... Like, is it okay to grab random image? Just yeah, yeah, just purposes? as an example. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, for example, I'm grabbing uh, this image. By the way, I don't know. To me, it's a pro tip because mm. I didn't know about it for a long, long time for PC users. You can just copy an image and then you can just create file new and paste it. So, to me, it took a while to figure mm, it out. That's so, it's almost too fast. <laughs> So, uh, for example, you need to cut out the, uh, uh, this um, cloud, the and it's not an easy task, um, but uh, what you can do, you can just go to the channel, speak the channel you like, in this particular case it's red, uh, copy the um, channel, paste, paste it, in. it That's in a pro here. tip right there already, by the way. Yeah, and uh, use your burn and dodge tool to uh, work on your Work on your uh, selection. So <coughs> you do this. Excuse me. And it's kind of. I was. I was thinking maybe you'd pick the blue channel, but no, the red one I, had I, I, more. Like had enough contrast to really. Yeah, I just work really pick the most contrasty channel. So I'm not going to use this uh, image in my. It's yeah, just. It's just again, really it's just for the purposes example. of the example, yes. Brianna asks a great question. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Like, the, going over the rules of, of using images from Google. Like, first of all, it's like, it's, it's, it's not yours. No, no, never use images no. from like any searches because someone owns them, someone spends their time making them. There are certain um, like images which are in public domain. Mm -hmm. which you can use. There are some stocks over in public domain and uh, you can use. You can use actual stocks if you have a subscri uh, su subscription as uh, like an Adobe stock. Mm -hmm. uh, just be aware of it. Like I have uh, multiple subscriptions on different sites uh, where I just grab my images from. Or you can have your own library, like just uh, going, uh, shooting mm -hmm. some photos and using them. And I think eventually you because I could imagine you probably do have a resource of clouds like somewhere. Maybe not on this computer, but don't you? Yeah. Like out of your library I, of I, files, I, I'm I have. Not, I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, I um, have my um, like mostly I have a s stocks with like uh, unlimited subscription of like unlimited oh, cool. things. Usage. I, yeah. And unlimited like downloads. Yeah. Cool. But uh, what I use is like textures.com but it's mostly for 3d artists it's like that does not have mm, like lots of mm -hmm. artistic choices but when i need to get clouds i usually go there mm -hmm. uh, but it's good to think about like so and put yourself on the other end of that because like what if you're the person who took that photo and people are just yeah. going to take it like i spent all this i had to wake up so early to get to capture this picture of the golden gate bridge yeah and like yeah you could be the person uh brianna i think you were talking about this earlier like you could be the person like making money off of Adobe stock as well, by the way. So you can contribute to Adobe stock. So so she said, oh, it's kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. It depends on which way you want to look. First of all, it's not it's that not. expensive comparing to other stocks. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Mm. It's not. And again, like this is this could be an opportunity for you, just as a thought. So um, um, I I uh, copied my uh, mask into my channel. And here, the beauty of it, you still can uh, work on it if you want. You still mm -hmm. can use your uh, burn and dodge tool to refine your edges. And by the way, like this is one of the harder things to select. Clouds. Yes, clouds. Like, this so many varying levels of transparency. Yeah, and the cool thing about it, because uh, we just did it with the 
uh, channels, um, transparency is already there. So it's like whatever color you pick your sky, the, it, the transparency goes through it in mm -hmm. the correct way. So that's, Very cool. that's a good way to uh, cut out the clouds. Yeah, but in, mark, in, mark the time of this video, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I don't know how far we're into this. Uh, 25, 25 minutes into this video. Like this is how you need like about 23 minutes. That's how you mask out and you can extract a sky from the clouds from the sky. Yeah, yeah. In less than three or in about three, we'll do a chat and win. Yeah. So, I love how fast you are. You continue to rock it, to do your thing. Yeah, gotta, 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 gotta work get, on it. Gotta, <laughs> You've been so funny the past couple of days. You're like, I can't, I gotta get this done. <laughs> Stop talking to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, you, I'm trying you, to you, work you, you know, you're the, like, you're the client. I feel like you're like really stressed out. You got to get this done. But I really admire your work ethic. And I know everybody, I'm speaking for everybody when I say every, we really appreciate you and your speed. And uh, Thanks. Yeah. But like, Anna today said, like, uh, I think she maybe didn't notice it, but she said, like, it's almost like an OCD. I think every designer has, like, their own OCDs about, uh -huh. like, Getting. Oh, this shape is not on the line. Mm -hmm. We need to move it. And otherwise, it's, like, going to go crazy. Yeah, yeah, and same deal with, like, uh, timing and working. Uh -huh. You're like, oh, I gotta finish it. Yeah. I agree, Helmet. Just fly. Just do your thing. <laughs> so I'm bringing my beautiful skeleton here. Sits very perfectly on this um, uh, this mountain, which is very lucky for me. Mm -hmm. um, and um, if you looked yesterday, I I used this method of separating values and colors, which I'm going to do again. Uh, I'm throwing this. Uh, did you call it check layer yesterday? Yes. Well, I mean, it's just a slang term, but. Mm -hmm. You're turning it black and white, so you took the uh, yes, saturation. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm turning it black and white to work just on values, so I will not go crazy trying to match everything in the same time, and uh, clipping my uh, curves into the my skeleton, and adjusting it so it sits well in the. And it's important. I think you you're matching the tone of that mountain back there. Yes, exactly. Uh, one big, big theoretical thing to keep in mind, everything closer to you is more contrasty. Everything farther away is less contrasty. Your black in foreground always darker than your blacks on the background. If you have some like black on the background, which is value wise darker than your foreground, it's probably a mistake. It's Got like, it. so um, just keep your, the the darkest blacks on the foreground, your like less contrasty spots in the background. And that's just sort of like the atmosphere kind of yeah. washing out things yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So I, I think this kind of see. I almost like killing the contrast here just because that's like I, this is. I'm just matching it with the mountain. So this is good. And now I'm doing the same thing with colors. So I'm bringing my new curves, switching my layer mode to the color because I don't want to touch the values. Values are already good. They're matching all good. Um, and um, switching to uh, different. So I see that there is too much red in it. I'm dialing it back. Now there is too much green in it. Dialing it. Oh, this is kind of close. Maybe. See, as soon as I'm adding blue, it's like, uh, nope, 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 not working. Okay, so this is good. Uh, now I need to blend it more. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, that oh, is it's good. the time for this. That is very good. Chat this is also good what's happening right now with these fireworks, because <laughs> that means yeah. it's time for a chat and we. Welcome back, everyone. Good to have you here. So basically, chat and win means you need to say something in chat, and we will draw a name at random and get you this wonderful Moo notebook, yeah. sketchbook, 
secret to uh, what happened to those magical whale-like creatures. Yeah, it's like a history of the I think it's written whales. in here. This is a history of the of, giant whales. Yes, and what's going to happen in season seven of Game of Thrones. Is that right, season seven? Sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that I the latest know. one? I'm not sure. There are so many of them. I'm kind of getting lost there. Yeah. <laughs> It's, Coming I think from an it's, epic fan, like a big time, you're a fan. Yeah, it just I read the books first, and then uh, there's TV shows, and kind of get. Uh, oh, it gets a little blurry in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, fantastic. the The trick is you have to write it in there first. Is the thing. So you mm. can make up your own fan fiction of Game of Thrones in here, and just say something in chat, preferably English. So again, we know it's not a cat walking on a keyboard, <laughs> and it's actually fingers from a human. And that human has to, happens to be Brienne Hadley. Oh, congratulations. Brienne, congratulations. Yay. She's like, I'm just a poor college student. That's what she was saying <laughs> earlier. Can't really afford credits. I'm trying my best. I thank you for hanging out with us. And now we get to give you a moon notebook. Yes. We'll have this sent out to you. DJ Pac-Man will hop super, in his. Super cool. Hop on his private jet, zip out there and hand it to you, and then zip back here before the next transition. So, uh, thank you so much for that. Okay, so coming back to Looks working. Smooth. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop giving things away. No, I'm just kidding. You would never say that, but you're like, I got it. First of all, this looks really good. I like how you're using, you're using curves and you're selecting the different channels, right? Mm -hmm. Red, green, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then adjusting accordingly. Cool. So now we need to blend it in better. Um, I think. Like, so with Anne earlier, she was using selective color and tweaking, making the, yeah, there the are many, reds more blue and, you know. There's so many ways to do it. You just, like, all the tools there for you, you just pick your favorite, whatever works best. Uh, I think there is no really, like, uh, right and wrong most of the time. You yeah. can just, you just find whatever works for you. Yeah. So um, I'm blending it in. Like, you know how uh, <coughs> haze kind of... Um, Question. Yeah, so. <laughs> but so why the top edge? Because I'm looking at that little hill and I feel like... No, it will be there too. It just like every... I, I know by default that when, when you uh, have an object far away, you need to do this gradation. Okay. So it's just something I know by default that will be there. So I'm mm -hmm. just doing it, but... After this, I'm just blending in everything. So I'm just grabbing colors with a picker, whatever um, is there, whatever is close, and uh, blending, blending it in a little bit. Yeah. Cool. I like this. Is this a whale skeleton? I hope I so. I hope so. I don't But know. don't worry, everybody. It died of old age, lived yeah, a long, yeah, happy yeah, life, yes. was like. Married to Mrs. Whale for many years. <laughs> they had many children. Yes. And, um, and now I want to blend it a little bit more into this heel. So I'm uh, grabbing everything, putting it into the group, call it Whale, and creating a mask. And uh, just with a soft brush, I'm, I'm kind of imagining that like. Uh, the skeleton been there for a long time. It blend in with the forest. Some forest already kind of mm. grew into uh, into the bones, like a part of the environment. So I'm just softening it out, blending it in. There's like this hole there, which I'm going to cover. I like it. I like. Uh, yeah, you can really get lost in like. Yeah. The details of some of this. Cool. So, and uh, let's just cover this little hole here. So, and this just goes to show, like, uh, this is all, like, hard, the h hard work will pay off, you know? Like, it would be easy just to, like, make everything grade it up and disappear at the same time. But really, if these bones are there, they, you know, yeah. fade out at different, different depths. Yeah. So now I'm just fixing some stuff with it. Uh, with a stem tool to like blend it a little bit more. And I think it's good enough. So uh, this is my whale. Again. Uh, and the, oh, Russian. It's uh, really good. 
and uh, from here I'm going to add a person. Wow. Let's add a person. So in this piece we have uh, um, some uh, subjectivity to it. So it's good to add some um, someone you can relate. To. Okay. So I, I already <laughs> I already found uh, this image. I like the uh, pose of it. Also, see I picked an image where it's ambient occlusion. It's silhouette. It's it's silhouette like. If you look at the person itself. Uh, all the shadows are very soft. Yeah, you have a little bit of this rim line, but it's not really a big deal. And uh, because I know it will be a very small silhouette and uh, far away, I'm not going to go crazy about selecting it in the, like some cool way. I'm going it with like a faster, sloppy way. So I'm just selecting my, uh, what do you call it? Quick, yeah, selection, quick tool. selection tool. Yeah, Boop. doing this. With Alt, I'm removing parts which I don't need. Um, is this guy like, he's like the whale whisperer? Sort of, or maybe he's or maybe just he was like his friend. a tourist. No, I think he was like friend and they knew each other. Sure, yeah. And he comes back every year. Wow, this guy's old. He fell into the sea and the whale like, uh, like rode on his back until, uh, to uh, uh, ultimately for many days until safe, like they reached safe land or something. Wow. You and now he's coming back and he recognizes. Story. <laughs> just like he has this longing look about him, like, yeah, that's the whale that saved my life. So I really like to use this refined edge on every selection I do, so I just mm. can like um, see everything that's happening. I'm bringing my person here. I don't like how it has some really bright spots. I'm going to remove it. He's like, yeah, I remember that. I remember living in that belly for three days. He's, is he Pinocchio? Pinocchio? Oh, wow. I was going to go with Jonah, but yes. I don't know. I forgot. Pinocchio was swallowed by a whale? I think so. Oh, yeah. Good. So then I'm converting it into a smart object. Play, oh, not something on got converted. No. And placing it in a place where I want. I will. Put this guy here. Yeah, that's a good point, Paul Alvarez. Is wondering if you like eyeball everything, or if you use, if you actually use those check layers or this hue and saturation. Do you actually turn things to black and white and dial in the the contrast? Uh, well, like that's making that layer. That's what I do every time I uh, comp things in. So, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because he's wondering, you are good, you could probably eyeball things, but you don't. You'd like, you go no, through this no, process. No, 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 no. Like, um, it's, it looks like I'm good because I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, same deal. I turn it on, putting my uh, curves for just my, um, so this is my value layer. See this black here? I have to match with this black yeah. here. So um, I can raise blacks to match it because, as I said, how far away things are, the blacks will be approximately the same in that particular area. And farther we go, the blacks will be softer and uh, closer, will be more contrasty. Is I feel like that's an ick, really quick tell to to see if it's a good composite. Yeah. Is the blacks? Yeah, At least like for instantly, me, instantly. This instantly. is instantly. Yep. If you did your blacks in incorrect way, it will just show up so mm -hmm. much. And here again, I do this. Um, well, I guess I can do it. Later You're on. right. So Paul Alvarez, yeah, Nathaniel Dodson of of Toot Vids does the same. Like has the same. Um, I think he was doing check layers. I'm sure um, Aaron Nace probably was, but it's a common thing. You already you already got the tone tile dialed in, yeah. and now you're working on the color. Yeah. Which this is a tough thing because you're like usually, I'll just turn it gray. <laughs> but. And um, I'm blending, blending his shoes a little bit more because they're just like so white. And here I'm just painting with like one solid color. And uh, uh, as I did with the whale, uh, this ha haze gradation, the top should be a little brighter 
just a touch plus everything is supposed to have a shadow so creating a shadow grabbing just a dark from that area mm -hmm. just do this i i'm not trying to make it like the most amazing thing ever because it's just far away i just need i need it to blend in but i'm i'm like if this was uh, the main focus of my composition, if it was this close, I would work on it much more yeah. accurate. Yeah. But because I know it's far away and um, it's mm -hmm. a small percentage of pixels comparing to the big uh, picture, I'm just not paying it too much attention. Just blending it enough to like not have uh, mm -hmm. um, for the for the, for it not to stand out that it was content. That's good. Uh, and again, yeah, check out Aaron. Aaron Nace, yeah, he was the check layers guy. Mm -hmm. he, he did check layers. I guess maybe it wasn't tat vids or toot vids. I guess you could say it either way you want. I don't think, t I think he says tat vids, but it's short for tutorials. Go ahead. Um, I think. I'm switching. Don't mind me. I'm adding like a little bit of the Gaussian blur to match the uh, sharpness of the rocks. Oh, okay. And same I deal. I probably would have missed that. <laughs> like, I think you did it very. It's like a very subtle, right? Yeah, it was 0.8 pixels. 0.8. And same deal here. Like, this is sharper than it's than everything else. So I. Uh, uh, Tut vids, but you don't say tutorials. It's not tutorials. It's tutorials. So that's why I think it's toot vids. But toot vids sounds funny doesn't it? Sure. <laughs> what do we say? <laughs> it's tough, it is. Uh, cool. So we have our guy looking at our whale. Everything's awesome. Um, Thank you so much. If you're just joining us, I think I saw Muhammad. It's his first time here. Wanted to welcome. There you are. Uh, Muhammad on cue. Oh, what's happening here? Um, cool. So here, let's go to my project files and grab some um, birds because to add a little bit of picture, uh, a little bit of life into the picture um, that it's not that static, it's the slice of life. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I found this awesome image because it's already on a white background. I really don't need to do anything with this. Just Slap it in, those are the, put it those on are multiply. The type of photos we like. Yeah, <laughs> just really not much you need to do here. It's really awesome. And, and now we got the birds in. Yeah, birds are in. But this will be interesting. And also a little bit of ga Gaussian blur. Or how mm -hmm. do you say that? Like Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur. Sorry for saying things. No, it really. I, I, it's been said before, but we like your voice. Good. We like <laughs> like hearing you teach. Um, and remember what I was saying about blacks, blacks like uh, right now, bird like uh, right now birds like in this particular area, mm -hmm. but rocks are brighter than the birds. Yeah, and that black is definitely black. Not cool. Need to fix it. Could you? Would you ever just lower the opacity of that layer? Yeah, totally, totally. Okay. You can do that. Good. Yay. Um, one thing I forgot about. Well, okay, uh, let's finish with birds and then I come back to, to the guy. I forgot something with the guy. No. <laughs> Nothing. Just laughing. Okay. Larry wants an octopus in there. <laughs> oh. We were working on an octopus Yeah, right, you guys like already went, went, went through thing. it. Yeah. Giuliano's doing some hand claps for you. Uh, so Thanks. those birds will be like right at the water. Yeah. So important thing, uh, reflections because it's water. We need reflections. Mm -hmm. um, and guy here needs reflection too. Right now it's like he's like a ghost without reflection. In order to do so, I'm going to save this file. Thank you. We usually get somebody saying, "Hey, save the file," because <laughs> this is our first save, right? Um, well, no, it's still untitled to you know, let me save it. So yeah, this is last last day with Sasha. Uh, yeah, it should feel like the end of Game of Thrones season. Thrones season, like you want more. A lot has happened, and you can't wait for the next season. 
but check out the replays tab. Everything's recorded. By the way, yeah. the portfolio reviews in less than 45 minutes. Check out Ooh, the portfolio reviews. Oh, 45 minutes. I'm so good on time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm duplicating everything. By the way, guys, uh, sometimes you just need to grab uh, like a slice of whatever you have with PC users, don't know about Mac, shift control alt E. What was that? It's to, mer to merge on top everything. Oh, we yeah. went over that earlier. It's okay, cool. option command shift E. Awesome, cool. So shift, shift, I'm shift. copying this layer. Yeah. Shift command alt. In the same. new document and saving it as our, like I already have it here because I done it before, but distort. That's how we call it, called distort, and then coming back to our, this guy. This is interesting. I can, like, I can I delete it. I don't know what's, I don't know what's, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I Big reveal. Duplicating my, uh, like, a uh, guy layer and converting to smart object. Uh, do this vertical oh, I thing. See. Yes. And now I'm going to filter, uh, um, where was it? Distort, displace. And uh, because it's a water, we need lots of horizon distort, horizontal distort, but a little bit of vertical distort because water is more like this. Okay, so this displacement, it's gonna give it like a ripple. Yes. So I'll do this, click okay. It asks me about the file. Um, Say, do this file, so it distorts the image, and yeah. uh, it uses the image behind it, like what we uh, saved as our distort layer, uh, as the um, like our height map. So everything which was light, bright, uh, went up. Everything uh, which was dark went down, and all the noise we had in the image kind of got saved there. And you can go a little bit wilder with this. There is also other filters, like uh, which add this ripple effect. Just wanted to show you this one. And again, doing our mask. I created mask, inverted it, and painted it. Oh, now it. you're gonna paint. Yeah, painting it into the. And with this one, like if it was again closer, I probably would uh, do a selection for the water to to make it uh, like, you know. Uh, more accurate than what I'm doing mm. now, but because he's so tiny on the image, it's like I not like a big how deal. you, yeah. Um, cool. So, and one more thing, uh, Ripples usually has this uh, like effect where your image like fully fully disappears. So, just this is just you as a. Kind of like a visual artist, you like you know that this takes place with ripples and water. Where yeah, if you, you it's like contrast. something you need to like go and check the reference. Always check your references. References is what makes you a good artist. Yeah, and like for a lot of that, like you already have this like in your you have so many references in your head already. You're like Hopefully. I kind of have an idea of how a reflection should go. And so then I'm switching on my. Uh, um, a smudge tool, which I showed you yesterday. I'm using Sam Nielsen's uh, Smudge Nicely. It's awesome. I already have it on my uh, hotkey hot to like... Smooth it out? Smooth it out, yes. Just not to have the such like obvious strokes. And the image of the guy is too sharp comparing to everything else. So I'm grabbing the image, blur, Gaussian. 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 I think you said Gaussian. I'll call it blur. <laughs> yeah. So, but, and, kill. So we have reflection of our guy there. All good. It's a little too strong. Need to just dial it back a touch. Yeah. Um, and um, bring birds. Do the same thing with birds. I'm duplicating the layer, converting to smart object, flipping it vertically, uh, putting out multiply, 
Um, and actually, if you can see, there are not many areas where you actually see the birds, but... Yeah, it might be really hard to tell. Like, you're, you'll be the only one that notices, but you know... That there is no reflection of the anyway. bird there. Yeah. <laughs> and... I'll do the same thing. Here. Obviously, the bones are too far away. Gaussian. Oh, English. Not easy. <laughs> well, you're doing wonderfully. Thanks. It's it's very forgiving to have an accent. Everyone like thinks it's just it's okay. It's just it's okay. It's accent. We're like okay. that's cute. That's 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 cute. You said that. This is a common. This is what uh, I think. Also, the, the the singular and plural of things also throws people off. One thing I think of is shrimp. Like shrimp, what's the plural of shrimp? Shrimpies? No, that's adorable though. <laughs> I hereby declare that has to be the that has to be the plural for now on. Shrimpies! Anybody want some shrimpies? What, there's a different word for this? <laughs> yeah, it's just shrimp. But that's a thing, so this singular and plural is still shrimp. But I, yeah, we do know, know somebody like here the same at the with office. The you know somebody here in the office calls up, hey, you want some shrimps? Do you want to go get some? I want, I, I want the, the salad with the shrimps, but it's just shrimp. Wow. So, but shrimpies well, is adorable. Every day I learn, I learn something new from you. Well, I think it's impressive that you were like, hey, uh, you know what? Um, come come and show Photoshop, like all these expert tips, all these pro tips. Oh yeah, hey, don't, don't do it in your native language either. You gotta do it in English. <laughs> And you gotta describe every single thing that you're doing. I'm, I'm kind of failing with describing things. <laughs> <laughs> you've been, you've been adorable and awesome. And uh, thank you, thank yeah. you for having me. I'm very happy. Even to show doing you guys. this, like you could just tell that you, you, you do this a lot. Just that the mere speed that you're doing this at, holding down that space bar if you wanna, if you wanna pick up that point if just you're off just a touch. Yeah. By the way, guys, for this, like. I saw someone was saying like I gotta pick up my like a pen tool skills. There are different sites where it's like it works like a game. Yeah. Where uh, you can just train your uh, pen tools. And I don't remember the name of the sites, but it's like something with Bezier. It is. Uh, did, did I say it right? <laughs> so if you feel like you need some practice in there, just play those games, and you just will be you nail it. The key is like to have oh, design games. Uh, the key to have not many points. As soon as you go crazy with the points, you just get lost there. Just try to do it when it's like not many points. Yeah, there is a game out there to build your oh the Bezier. Yeah, okay. The Bezier game. Uh. Good job, Heidi knows. What's up? Okay. So. Nailed it. Done. It's perfect. Yeah. See how well it uh, lives in the picture. Perfect <laughs> comping. Perfect. Done. Yeah. We're done. Bye, Time guys. For portfolio reviews. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Munir calls it the pain tool. You can call it instead of the pen tool. It's not the pain, pain tool. tool. It's like a meditative kind of tool. <laughs> yeah, but like when you first learned it, like, you know, kind of a new concept. Yeah, I guess. The pain tool. But then it's like so much control over whatever you do. Uh, by the way, like uh, sort of um, distracting a little bit from this, just a random tip about the pain tool. Mm -hmm. uh, there are things like, for example, you can do your path and then um, uh, still having selection tool, uh, not selection tool, but pen tool, uh -huh. right click, and you can do stroke path, and you can pick your brush. Yeah. Oh, that right, I didn't know about the right click on it. So, but. and uh, pretty much like if you don't have a, mm, like a tablet, or you mm -hmm. uh, need some very particular um, shape, which you can't nail, by hands, that's yeah. a good way. You want to get really exact with like a, you yeah, know, a, yeah. a brush and, stroke or something. I think there's also a way where you can have a selection and then 
uh, make a work path out of your selection. Okay, yeah. And then you can grab your selection and... Oh, not, not your selection. You, you gotta turn you, the selection into a path now, right? Yeah. Or you, at least... Yeah, I just, I just turned selection into the path. And okay. here you can you do the same thing with creating a new layer. Right click and stroke the path and... There you are. Yes. So, just a tip. No, no big deal. Nicholas <clears throat> likes the pen tool in Illustrator, but uh, maybe not so much in Photoshop. What's the difference? I feel like it's pretty the much same. the same thing. I mean, obviously, you have way a lot of control. The the pen tool itself, I don't see how the actual pen tool is different from one to the next. I remember but there you was might know. A it might be shortcut keys that will be different in Photoshop. So if you're doing some of those with the pen tool, I don't think so. I think at some point Photoshop didn't have as much control over it, but at some version they added everything, uh, and mm. that was a game changer because before they added it, I needed to usually bring my stuff into Illustrator, do things like do. Like, yeah, but that's true. Like I feel like I used to do that, and I don't do that as much anymore. Yeah, I think they changed it. And we do. We did add the. Uh, Freeform pen tool is a new new tool that we've added. It's fairly recently. Cool. Okay, cool. Then good. Gravi is it like agrees with us like, you know, Photoshop's pen tool is more like Illustrator's like than it was previously. Um Okay, so I'm bringing my my coming back, guys. We got to work. First of all, got to like, work. This looks like <laughs> we got a job to do. Yes. I love this. We want, I, you know, this is awesome. First of all, this looks great. Like, what did you, can you kind of, in terms of the color, I feel like I missed the color part. Yeah. That's that hue and saturation. You brought that down. Yeah. So, uh, you, you, no, know, you I, did the, basically the same, uh, something similar. I, what I did, I um, uh, did the curves as I did before. Um, and then for the color, I, um, because I knew it's pretty much will be like a one color thing, it will be just blue. Uh, uh, so I just did a hue situation with colorize, and uh, what colorize does it just changing the entire like color. Yes. So I used to use that a lot. Still, still use it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I would use it wrong. I'd be like, "Hey, the scene's blue. Colorize photo blue." <laughs> yeah, it's good to use it as a touch. Yeah. So and now I'm very cool. I'm doing this like a light spill and you know how haze work everything clo works everything closer to us will be again more contrasty farther away will disappear in a haze so i'm kind of mimicking it i feel like so um cool. larry's asking like so is this is this whale like is the background underwater is the whale floating with balloons like how's the whale there it's just a magical whale just a magical floating whale I love it. Yes. That's right. This is your world. Yes, I can do whatever I want. I love it. I can That's merge. Exactly I can right. merge my layers. I can work distract distractively. And not not name them. Name yes. them like Fred and Bob and Wilma. Doesn't sure, matter. Sure. Yeah, it's that'll be world. Fred. Fred. Uh, yeah. So I can do whatever it's I day, want. It's day three. <laughs> yeah, whales can fly. Didn't you guys in fact, know? We, would, we were like, what? Whales can't live in water, not on this world, they're in the air. Mm -hmm. But some can swim, maybe. So yeah, and I'm, uh, now I'm tracing Bob, I guess. And see how I'm using pen tool here? Because like, I, I just do not see how color selection will work very well. Because it's not just one color, not one tone, there's like white and dark. And I probably like color, it might work, but it's just faster for me to uh, cut it with a pen tool. And uh, I just know that edges will be uh, more accurate. And I don't need to go too crazy about it because I know it's kind of like on the background. so. I'm ignoring some uh, details in its silhouette, but generally, you know. Yeah, exactly. No, that that is good because you know this is. Luckily, the the shape itself of the whale is like fairly hard edges. Yes, you know, it's yes. not like birds' feathers. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't do the same thing with like birds or with a 
leaves or something like hair sure and like not yeah hair hair selection is a separate subject and uh, mm -hmm. um, it's actually a very interesting theme I like working with hair a lot and uh, use lots of um, like the same technique I shown you guys with the clouds but some other Secrets. Little secret tips, but you just you gotta you gotta keep your competitive edge, your professional edge. No, over I would love to. I, I would love to tell you. I, I I would love to tell you. Just like you know, you gotta pick your bottles. I have uh, uh, three days. I shown you what I Can wanted you put, to show you. Can you cut out most. some hair and put like a little wig on? The, <laughs> put some hair on this whale. Oh, that would be lovely. I like what you're doing here. Like you, I, I feel like when I do this, I I I try to get right on the line. Oh, yeah, but I'm, I try I'm, to kind of go in just a touch. Like, yeah, if I'm going to err on actually, either side I'm of it. I'm actually trying to do the same. I'm leaving okay. like just a touch on yeah. the outside to uh, like not to deal with the double edge later on. So, yeah. Yes, Fabiola. Thanks so much for joining us. She loves us. You do have a, we started your fan club yesterday. I'd say they've shown up today. Nice. Uh, these Thanks, videos are guys. totally like worth like watching again. And again, if you are watching this, this is not it's not a sped up video despite uh, the speed that you're going at. <laughs> it seems like oh, we're watching at 1.5 times the speed. I'm just been doing it so many times you kind of go yeah you, you just turn it off your brain in this moment like listening mm -hmm. some podcast Listen some music it. or so. i don't know chatting with someone mm -hmm. so and this is a perfect chance less than 30 minutes we're gonna review portfolios so we'll spend this our time with that. so good i'm like totally on time you're doing so you're like rehearsed <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah I didn't really, I did it once already, so the file, I get, uh, again, just a reminder for the people who just showed up, for example, I have this project here with uh, all the PSD files, so if you guys want Look what you did, like, look at this even, look at this layout, can we just take okay. a second and admire this whole layout and everything? Uh, this is pro tip two. Uh -huh. Behance works in a certain way like if you guys want to have any like features in the galleries or something like this never just post one image make it a series and make it look good just throw throw a description there make some like if you do the poster make like this oh here is the poster in a close-up here is the poster overview with mm. like environment and if you uh, take a look at my portfolio like everything i done is either serious or just like some love to your project like yeah. it pays back and it's and it's tough because by the time you get to posting it you're kind of like so over it yeah, but <laughs> you're this, like i'm ready to move on it is crucial time you spend all those hours working on exactly. something and you like so tired you just want to like post it and be whatever it doesn't mm -hmm. matter but then you just mm, making your life harder. You spend all those hours, just put some yeah. love in your like portfolio project. Yeah, you spend all, this, spend all this time working on something and like, does it even matter that you spend all this time about it on it if nobody knows about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, so. Um, and that's why we like to have portfolio reviews, like give yourself a chance just to, you know, be seen and, and mm -hmm. just review that content. I was wondering how you guys pick them. Like, is it just a random, uh, like w people submit it, yes? Yeah. And then you just pick um, some interesting portfolios? Uh, or is it random? Yeah, it's um, it's not random. So we'll do it based on the subject matter. So we'll, we'll try to find some that is like around Photoshop compositing mm. type portfolios. I like it. We usually like to vary it, so it's like if somebody's earlier in their career with somebody more experienced. Mm -hmm. So it's just that's that's the idea because you know they want to get you know your opinion on their work. See you, Bye. Andrew. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Bye, Andrew. Uh, See ya. Yes. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. Check <laughs> Andrew out Segretti. his his uh, stream earlier. Yeah, he, he was just, doing some awesome retouching yeah. techniques. Yeah. If you guys <laughs> never done any like frequency separation methods, take take a look. It's uh, very very important. Yeah, definitely. Cool. So that's Andrew's work. This is recorded in the replays tab. Check out that this weekend, not now. <laughs> we are 
doing this. Yeah. It's good. Did you, uh, maybe you're not there. Did you apply the Gaussian blur to the other? Did you do a blur on that? I, I did. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. I already did. Cool. So the check layer, like I'm, I'm, I'm calling it now this way. I, I adopted yeah. it. <laughs> like. Because it's from the Czech Republic. It's where first they for that they first started using it. That country is the Czech Republic. We have and some. Became the Czech. We, we, seas, we have seas. a Czech Republic guy in our company. Yeah. He is. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have like conversations. He, what do you have? No, like I can't understand Czech, but our like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it's sort the same. Of the same. Yes. But the Czech languages is it Czech? Is Czech it? language, yeah. But it's not similar to Russian? No, I can't understand. Than... Wow. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Well, I had to say now, Yanni, hi! <laughs> uh, Yanni? Jan. Jan. No, that's who it is? It, his name is Jan Sladeko, and he's an amazing motion designer. Mm. And also, we have, like, we have, like, so many amazing artists. I feel like if I could, I could just, like, give you guys a list of portfolios. It's just, like, here, enjoy and yeah. feel bad about yourself. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. It's one of those. Like, I'm trying to be inspired, but I'm, I'm kind of so, I'm so depressed. You're so good. Well, so that's so awesome to be surrounded by such amazing people. Yeah, it's awesome. Can't, that's what we, again, try to do is like, we know you can't be everywhere, but if we can have you like on a live stream and make make it feel like you're in like in the cube next door, like right next to us. Sure, I would love to. That's a, that's a good call. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nope, didn't clip it. So in this one, I'm sort of just painting it in again. Um, the light spills, not like in this particular case. Just a case, little blue. It's not a light spill, but like more like an air spill, I guess. And you know, like this whale is closer to us, so it, it needs to be a little darker than the whale behind, so. Yeah, okay, so this one is in the front, kind of going yeah, back that yeah, way. Yeah, Wow. Yeah. Looks like we do have some people who, uh, you know, might be from Czech Republic or Russia, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, David. Uh, yeah, I know it can He lives in Slovakia. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's awesome that there's people from like all over the world watching. Inspiring. So, Marcin, just so you know, the big banana icon in the sidebar is like when you reach a certain level, when you become pro status, it's like a little treat we give you, saying you work in this a long time, here's your treat. <laughs> it's like a little badge. Only, we only give it out a certain number of bananas. <laughs> I don't know why bananas. Marcus, did go? You go out and play the pen, the pen goal, the Bezier game. That's funny. <laughs> hang out. We want you to hang out with us while we have you live here. Hello, Marcin from Poland. Oh, I love it when we like kind of talk about a random country. Yeah, and, like, people are call watching. Out your with country. Me. I wonder who who do we have here? Yeah, like Ooh, you Peru. Kill Peru, Renato. Awesome. Yeah. I wonder who's unlocked the. Who's spent enough time in Photoshop to unlock the uh, banana badge? Yeah. It's called the banana badge. Who is like. Very coveted, hard to get a hold of. Spent enough time in tutorials, um, just like that's learning true. some you're, random, you're, random and, stuff. Yeah, that's so funny. Um, so I'm coming back. I'm done with like comping my whales, and I'm coming back to the my background layer. I'm looking at the. Okay, we have people from Russia. I don't know, Latonia. Upper Rusturia? I don't know. I don't know where that is, but welcome. Colombia, of course. Love Colombia. Nice. My favorite Jamaica, place. Jamaica, Hungary. Love it. Brazil. Mexico. Yeah. Yay. Wow. Really 
International, love it. Yeah. Bananas are good for you. We want you to. We want you to be healthy. It's not a candy <laughs> bar. It's like some just some nice fruit that comes in its own packaging. Yeah, we already okay. had this conversation about yeah. like, how bananas are awesome. Yeah, they are awesome. We were talking about this <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, and, and what do we see you do? You're like, I'm gonna take some for the road. So it's her with her backpack and then some bananas hanging off the side. <laughs> That's what like two bananas like hanging off the it's side. It's like a superfood. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, so coming back to our overview of the picture, uh, is um, you remember how I was saying that like everything on the foreground darker, everything on the background is less uh, saturated, mm -hmm. uh, less um, contrasty. So now I need to add the same here. Like right now, our background foreground is just like very bright, yeah. and just you know to. Composition-wise, our center is in here, and we need to um, like drive the eye this way. And having this big white spot just like is just distracting. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm I'm kind of just um, with a solid color, uh, um, just making it a little bit less distracting. Just a solid and it color. works. Like I didn't, I didn't know that needed it until you, until you did it, until you added that. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. it's more for the composition of the piece. Yeah. Keeping your eye, because otherwise it's like broken by these rocks. Lighter, lighter. No. Mm -hmm. um, Kendra got the banana. Congratulations. She's unlocked. She's gotten the banana award. Good yes. job. Yes. Nailed it. Good job. Um, now I'm going with just a general look of it. So I'm um, throwing, I uh, always like to uh, throw my color balance on it, depending on the, uh, on, the, on the subject matter, it's different, but like for outside, I like adding a little bit of uh, cyan and blue. Um, and I can desaturate the image a little bit, just a little bit. Um, then, I like to create my gray layer, which, as we talked yesterday, I just um, hit D, um, fill the uh, entire canvas with just black, uh, then Control U for hue saturation, adding 20, 50 percent oh, lightness. To okay. So now it's 100 percent gray, and uh, the beauty of it, you probably guys know that, but if you put it on overlay or soft light, it doesn't change the image. Mm -hmm. The um, overlay and soft light works the same way that pretty much gray does not do anything to the image. Everything, like sometimes I have this issue, see, like when I'm trying to do stuff and it doesn't oh. work. Oh. And usually I just need to click on like some number, click OK, and then it starts working again. Hmm. But because you were playing with the brush size, yeah. Yeah, don't know why it's happening sometimes. Hmm. <laughs> People are going crazy about bananas. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody got a Brussels sprout. Oh yeah. Probably. What does it mean? You need more vitamin B than that knows it. <laughs> Everybody else is a little bit sad, deficient on potassium. <laughs> but uh, explaining uh, overly. Um, uh, yeah, that makes sense. And, and really, you just created this neutral layer. Yeah, neutral layer. So everything uh, brighter, everything like um, brighter colors will will like get some of this like light, and uh, everything darker colors. With X, I'm I'm switching between my uh, colors, so I can I really can paint it this the focus our main focus of the composition and it depends on the situation sometimes i like um uh, overlay better sometimes i like soft light better i noticed that soft uh, that overlay has a tendency to change the situation of the image so interesting if, if, okay. you, if you um do this see how like the sky is really getting saturated and sometimes okay. you don't want it sometimes it's not what you're going for, and then you can change it to the soft light, and soft light doesn't do this, this much. Mm. It still does the same trick, but uh, just, I don't know, I'm not an expert in uh, 
blended like, modes. It's just something kind like of like everybody knows the results, but don't ask me to describe the math the, between it. Yes. Yeah. I'm behind what is, it. What does soft light really mean? Yeah. I'm sure somebody's gonna Google that and tell me. That's great. Thanks. You you have Google. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, I usually actually typically those are my most used blend modes. Soft light oh. overlay. Add. Um, I I use so from here. Um, normal, obviously, dissolve. You saw how I use dissolve. Yes. Uh, multiply. Was day uh, one. Lighting, screen, darken. Da darken and mul color multiply. Dodge, I think I use. Uh, linear dodge, overlay. Did you soft use light. color on day one? Was it color at the bottom? Maybe it was Anna. Uh, I don't know. I always use color for just uh, like uh, like all my um, the color adjustments in curves is just on color mode. I use uh, luminosity, yeah, and do I say it correctly? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, so I, I, uh, the um, difference on the type for the first day, remember, which just inverts, whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I really, them. yeah, I mean, I think somebody else mentioned that in chat, really like your, your use of, of fonts and just creating this quick, like, title art has seemed very appropriate. Yeah, it's fun. Cool, so uh, uh, from here, it's all good, I like it. Um, as I usually do, I throw like some like uh, adjustment layers, uh, not adjustment layers, but the yeah, color look lookups. Up. Uh, usually, um, you don't want it 100% anytime. Oh yeah, did you use the color uh, for to change the flower from yellow to pink? Maybe, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> It's there somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere. Yeah, take a look. It's every time I do stuff, there's like no uh, uh, like a s h hard way to do things. You just kind of feel in it like, oh, maybe it's curves and then maybe hue saturation, maybe selective color, maybe color lookups. There's so many things and you're just playing with it. So I kind of like a film stock. Um, and, you know, sometimes I'm just playing in a bunch of different... Horror blue, yeah. Horror, um, I, I know, horror blue. Yeah. And then there's another one called futuristic bleak. I'm like, okay, <laughs> way, to, way, to, way to be positive about life, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but it, that's probably what I'd pick for at least test for some of this. What do you think? What did you? You're at horror blue. Did it change much? You got the I, down to 50%. It just, it's just like a touch, making just it more greener. Touch. It's you really can do the same thing with curves. I'm just like, what? Am, like, as you guys discussed it today with Anna, it's just like when you don't know what you're going for, and you just sort of mm -hmm. like, mm, do I do I want it more blue or maybe? It's, Depends on how you're feeling, yeah. what you had for lunch, like. Yeah. Sometimes it's like the difference is the one you like because you've been working in a certain tone. Mm -hmm. Then you're given something different. You're like, wow, that's cool. Okay. One thing I like to do, I like to grab my black and white adjustment layer. Um, got it. Get get it to the point where like. It especially works well with the portraits, but I like it sometimes on, on there too, like you. It will be my highlights mm -hmm. layer, mm -hmm. so I'm just picking, kind of getting. It up. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I can just do this, yeah. And Wait. I'm 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 um, throwing yeah. it in on the screen and uh, inverting my mask and just painting in the area, like just a little bit to like add. Just add some variance in, in kind of like brightness highlights, and yes. highlights. Okay. Yeah. Just a little bit. Cool. Okay, and uh, sometimes I didn't like here. I'm just kind of playing around. I'm pretty sure like the file I shared uh, with you guys is different. We can go through it and see what I did there. I'm just um, sort of experimenting here. Let me close all the stuff. Um, but um, sometimes you can, again, merge everything on top, convert it to smart object, do filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and uh, Gaussian. Oh, fuck. Oh, did you just 
Did you just say fudge? <laughs> no. Sorry, no one no. heard it. No, I didn't hear you say a thing. I think it's a, that was a Russian word of some yeah, sort. Yeah, yeah, totally, learn. totally Russian word. Okay, but you're you're making this look hazy. Yeah, so um, that's the way to do. You okay? Cool. To do it, and um, I used to do this with photos all the time. I would um, blur it and then change the layer blend mode. Yeah, you, 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 well, you, yeah. I, this is like you, you, ten years ago. You can totally do that. Because I was like, oh, it makes it look hazy and like still sharp. Yeah, I I remember I used to do. It too, but in this particular case, I'm not changing the um, blending mode because it just, you know, I, I, I know that that's where I'm going with and don't need it. <laughs> okay, and... Oh, yeah, it's cool. good, good advice, Jan Eric, in terms of just like stepping away and coming back if you're having any sort of issue. Yeah. The problem is I just like, I never come back. <laughs> I just step away. Yeah, like, well, I think I was doing something, wasn't I? Oh yeah, working on this. See? Yeah, Anil likes it. Cool. So this is the original. Oh, I, I, I didn't flip the whale, I guess. Whatever. Close enough, I guess. Let's see what I did here on this one. Let's remove the type. Take a look at the my uh, experiments here. OK, I oh, this is desaturated wow. everything. Yeah. Then uh, here. I just made everything darker. Um, this was this um, the color balance, which I showed you guys. I like to do exposure for vignette with a round mask. This was the same thing, uh, which I shown you. This um, like a darkening vignette. Again, some uh, color lookup. Um, this really. And this was I'm not sure. That's just a little. Uh, I, I don't like this hair. I need to kill it. Uh, this was my black and white, a little bit of the highlights. And um, I think I put uh, noise on it. Okay. Or maybe I didn't. And uh, one more color lookup for just a little bit of blue. Um, so that was my color correction. Then. And how much time do we have before the uh, portfolio reviews? About six minutes. Cool. So, and then I went with type. So, if you look at the type like this, it's not a it's good like, type. But uh, it's well, it's a beautiful type. Yeah. But it needs like it's, it's just flat. It's like yeah. just you just slapped it on there. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. have any. S okay. So I added a little bit of texture to it. Um, if you look at my mask here, oh no. So I'm selecting everything with Control A, then Control C to copy it, and getting empty layer, and Control V brings my mask. So you On can really see that layer. Yeah, my mask. So what I did here, I took a brush with uh, just, uh, you can pick, I don't remember what brush I was using, I was just. I picked something I liked. And it could be even this. Like let's oh, wow, let's that's let's, a fun one. Let's redo that. So I'm uh, removing my mask, creating uh, mm. actually let's do it on 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 the new layer. So I'm creating new layer, do fifty percent opacity so I can see what's behind it. Mm-hmm. Clicking and kind of like just painting it in. And uh, this is not the brush I would use, but just to show you the thing. And really, are you going for kind of like a weathered look? Because this has a very, yeah, again, it's called yeah. grandfather. It's like been there. How long is how long has those bones been there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think very important in this particular case, because it's a handwritten type, to nail those like intersections uh, to get extra attention to like how those are, um, you know how you, m m when you uh, draw the same line uh, twice, it just brighter, I guess. Yeah. And then you can just 
grab this as your selection. Okay. With the control. And uh, this one, I, I don't want to lose this mask, so I'm just going to drop it in on some other layer. Okay, just kind of save it. Yeah. And here is my mask. Oh, nice. Yeah, and for example. Oh, this would be fun to paint though this way too, could you? Like paint in with white on this layer, on this layer mask to paint. reveal the other layers or letters. Yeah, yeah, it's just you kind of want to see stuff underneath, but yeah, you can totally can do that yeah. if you duplicate okay. the layer and have a little bit of the guideline. Got it. And My way was like painting without seeing it. Yours is a way of painting without <laughs> seeing it, which is better. And yeah, you can totally do that, so just painting it in. Um, and then, for example, you want, um, you can refine it the same way with, a, uh, for example, like burn and dodge tool. Like, I really want it to disappear in here. And make that's good. And make this, this edge. This makes it look 3D. The fact that that's brighter than yeah. the stroke behind it. So, um, so you really can like have fun with type here <sighs> to make it look like it was it's really so cool. handwritten. Yeah, I'm into it though. And that's a great that's a great font too. Yeah. So yeah, grandfather. This Oh, I, should, I will watch this movie. I'm so intrigued. What is it? About the, oh, the giant whales. Like, is he, is the the whale his, his grandfather? Is this like Tusk 2 or something? Or like... I don't know. You, 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 pitch, you, you, you pitch the story before that uh, it's like, you know, the uh, this guy and oh, yeah, his I did friend like that. and... Yeah. I don't know. Like the whale saved him. He was going to die at sea and the yeah. whale scooped him up. He thought he was being eaten when really the whale was saving him by putting him in his stomach. Yeah. Deep. And then finally he had a, like, they went on many adventures. I think they got t matching tattoos. It was like a whole thing. <laughs> and then eventually dropped him off. And then he comes back years later. It's like, that's my, mm. that's my, I don't know, grandfather. Yeah. Something. Sure. I'm kind of done. You kind of <laughs> done. <laughs> I, I, we love you. You're so you're so awesome. I like how you're like I'm done. That's it. I would say you're, yeah, you've done exceptional. I like the fact that you click on the info tab, go out to your uh, Behance yeah, page, yeah. and you can download these files. Yes, please do. Like take a look at those. Like I seriously think if if people really, if you watch these three days of your work. Just if you absorbed everything and watched it over and over and over again and applied it, I could see somebody like making some fan art of something and then seeing where that goes. Kind of like what happened to you, you know? Yeah, yeah. It just, um, I, I, I say that all the time, you just have to do personal projects, like whatever passion projects. It, mm -hmm. it all the good stuff comes from there. So. Uh, it's as I've been telling you the story that like I came here because of the fan art and then um, I got actually into the meal because one of the creative directors really liked the uh, skull series I did and uh, the skull series came out just like what randomly. Did you, so, uh, were you doing this just for fun? Yeah, just for fun. It's, it's like how it, it's all just for fun. Oh, look at it, it's so beautiful. So, yeah, that's kind of, but grab the files. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything that you would like to, you've done, I feel like you've done a lot in your career. You look at our portfolio, everything. Uh, do, is there anything that you would, you would like to do? Like, in, yeah. uh, somebody mentioned feature? album art or something, like it would be cool to do X. I would like to. Like illustrate a book cover or see my I stuff in a gallery. I did illustrate the book covers. <laughs> of course you did. I, I, I'm not I, surprised. I, I, I did like uh, album cover. Like all the stuff is really awesome. I love all of this, but uh, yeah, done a bunch of book covers. Uh, so yeah, lots uh. of like uh, this was a fun fun one to comp together. So yeah, some book covers. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's, uh, it's, it's funny, like, I, I really love all this, like, a fan, 
fantasy te- teen fantasy this is like teen my fantasy. bread and butter that's like it's a sweet spot <laughs> right i can there. just go wild there well it's just like absolutely gorgeous and you can this the overall theme of just like professionalism throughout your work again a lot of 3d and that that is even where you started like you started doing like web design and stuff and then got into like no 3D. i actually learned how to model before i learned photoshop like modeling well, yes oh, wow. this was my first job was 3d modeling yes Okay. Like they were like, hey, so this is how you model. Go and model some assets for the game. Wow. And then they were like, well, now you need to uh, paint textures. So here's this program Learn. called Photoshop. <laughs> and you just learned. You just like, I guess I got to learn how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So impressive. I can't get over it. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to. But we're going to kind of dive into the next section, which is portfolio oh, reviews. I'm looking forward to our portfolio reviews. So interesting. I was so enthralled by all your work. I was like, wow, getting getting a little lost. So, okay, cool. Can we start a little earlier with this? Or should yeah, we well, wait? it's actually, we're, we're right on time. We Perfect. have two portfolios. Thank you so much. Uh, again, we typically do this every week, every Thursday. Um, mm-hmm. But that's where we're at now, is we're going to kind of take a step back in our little spaceship Mm-hmm. and dive into portfolio reviews. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, welcome back everybody. <laughs> yeah, We're in space. Fun. I like I like how your shirt actually matches. Oh like, yeah, it, it does. looks like you have this futuristic uh, outfit. <laughs> Thank you. You're like dressed for style, even though you're going to space. You're like, no, no, no. but I want to look good. <laughs> That's kind of the yeah. air is breathable. I, I turned on oxygen back there. Oh no. That's good. We want yeah. oxygen. I'm gonna take this off. Great. Yes, we did have to fly out, clear out to space to see these wonderful portfolios. Thank you, everybody, for submitting. Um, again, this will be cool. We'll yeah, take a look exciting. at. Hold on, let me take it. Let me. Do, 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 do. Oh wow! Play with it. Oh, ow. Ah, my knee. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. Some 3D work here. I can <sighs> tell. Love it. So. Okay, so from France, first of all, great job, logo, super cool. Beautiful, Jean, yeah. Jean-Baptiste Corriere. Um, yeah, cool, that's what it, I thought it said student, but French student in numerical graphic design. Hope you will love my stuff. Well, I think we will. I'm like, since we just were in space, let's kind of start with this element. Yeah, it's some volumes in 3D. It's what? Volumes in 3D. Okay, volumes. Yeah. So, I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, looks great. I uh, actually done something like Does this it, before. <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, you can click there and open it up. I, 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 I would I would want to, you said volumes, I would want probably a little more context, even if it's, it's just called mossy, but I'm like, you know, what What I, did I, you, I uh, think... yeah, would you, what would you make it? What did you make this in? What are you trying to do? Like, what are your objectives? All that fun stuff. Yeah. Do we have a person here, or probably I don't not? know. I don't know if uh, um, Jean Baptiste is here. I think here. this one probably was just a tutorial, which turned out good and um, like been rendered out with the nice colors and nice uh, uh, lighting. Super yeah. Super cool. Love it. I did something like this too. Like so many times, I would like do tutorial, and it just looks really good, and I just. Um, You're just proud of it, and you're like, and "This is going in my portfolio." Yep. Exactly. Yeah, it's very cool. Like quality, A plus quality. Even yeah. overall, just kind of looking over the whole portfolio. Yeah, nice, a nice three D work. Yeah, like really great. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone that catches your eye? I mean, everything catches my eye. My eye. I'm like, I'm, I'm also in my head, like, oh, this software and this software. It's a lot of stuff that you, uh, again, kind of right up your alley. Yeah. There's some more. This is a fractal art. I want to know like what uh, software uh, he's using because like this is either Houdini or New Octane has uh, this ability to do fractals like this. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it looks really pretty. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, a couple, couple pieces in there. Uh, 
Mandal. My, Mandal. Yeah, my advice with all this stuff, uh, just as I said, make a portfolio like look nice. The project portfolio look nice. If you have, in um, like one image, make a sequence out of it and make it like something presentable, like just a full image, and then like put it in a little poster and just uh, make it interesting. But mm -hmm. yeah, great job. Lots of knowledge for just a student. Yeah, it seems like there's a little bit more here in this one. This is uh, Shea Del Mar close yeah. vinyl illustration, which I really like the way this type's done. And yeah, I love the uh, combination of design and like a comping approach to it because um, obviously mm -hmm. just the design on the cover is beautiful, colors yeah. are beautiful, topography Color. work is great. So and then, clean. yeah, comping is great. And I like how here actually, this is was, this is some like a presentation element in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. great I, job. I really like it. And just like, let's not like overlook the O being like right there in the center. So very aware of what it's being printed on. Absolutely. And making it work yeah. with the design. Yeah, and uh, I love the grain, how it m made it look like illustration yeah. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way cool. That's a, that's a nice one. Let's go a little. Ah. <sighs> I wish Jean Baptiste was here. Yeah. I don't know if he is or not. I kind of want to get into this, like, because I think you're. This will be interesting. Oh, I love it. Yes, it's a great example of graphic design and 3D. Just a combination of uh, how to not just create 3D, but make it intentional and uh, make it look awesome. I think this is a great piece. I yeah, love it. Absolutely it's great. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like the the simplicity of all of it. And, and same, I like how it's a serious. I would continue with that a little mm -hmm. bit, like extend it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah! Oh whoa! Oh, here, here it uh -oh. is. Yes. Let's go through. We don't. We won't go through all of them, but beautiful. Yeah, I think it's an awesome, awesome series. I really like yeah, this project. It's fun. Yeah. So cool. Into it, and I kind of wonder the amount of 3D and Photoshop. I mean, I assume it's uh, made with Photoshop and, oh, a mixed brush. Mm, maybe not 3D. Oh, okay. Well, would, you could do that. I would definitely that. do that in 3D. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's almost like you see, it seems like the light's falling on an actual object, but that was all yeah. like painted in. Yeah. Cool. Good job. Yeah, that is excellent. Just mm -hmm. taking a look at the time. Let's go to this latest one, if you don't mind. Uh, shading and lighting. Wants to thank Simon Kubicki, who modeled the car. And I really like it when they do that. They're like, I don't do this. I got it from mm -hmm. someone else. And yeah, always important to. Um, it uh, knows that you know it and you give credit where credit's due. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the little grain. Is that mm -hmm. what I'm seeing? Like, I like um, the colors. I like that it's a stylized approach, not uh, just like a, let's render a slick car. It's actually like intentional color palette. Mm -hmm. And um, I like a little bit of haze mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And so And uh, the floor, it's like a water floor. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Yeah, it's very nice. And I like this angle. Yeah, it's really good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, in this one, you like as a three D artist, I can tell that you just put a like a quad light, and I can see it here. So if I were you, uh, I is would that, uh, yes, I would um, either make sure like the light is not fully visible here, or has a gradation in it, or floor uh, mm -hmm. like add a little bit more roughness on the floor to like hide this okay. uh, reflection of the light. Gotcha, because mm -hmm. this is like reading as an actual yeah, object yeah, yeah. and In it should scene. just be a mm -hmm. texture. Yeah. Uh, not very distracting. This is pretty. I love this frame a lot. These colors make Jan Eric want to lick his screen. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing's stopping you, man. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Just like, as long as it's not my computer. Yeah. And this is, pro I think every other one is such a y unique angles. This is good. Yeah. That's like, I mean, that's even nice. Yeah, anyway. Awesome. Subject matter. <laughs> I think the subject matter alone makes for a great, like a great series. Um, <clears throat> awesome. We'll kind of switch over now. 
if we can to the yeah. next one. Okay. These are all great. We can spend all day long yeah. admiring all this stuff. It's beautiful. Good job. Like I, I feel like this person really um, does a great job com combining 3D and uh, graphic design, and uh, I mm -hmm. think totally heading in the right direction. Yes, I fully agree. And next up, we have uh, Baboy Oliwola from Lagos, Nigeria. I don't want to mess with him. <laughs> uh, he's a creative executive. He works for, he's a member since 2012. So he has some experience. Mm -hmm. And we'll just see how that's reflected in the portfolio. Right here as we scroll down. A lot of work. A lot yeah, of good, of strong, work. like, commercial work, branding. Yeah. Graphic design. Any of these interest you? I kind of want to. I like to look at some of the older ones and then go then uh, move forward. further in the portfolio to see where what was the progression. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. I see the perspective is a little broken right now in the in the like clothes, like a tablecloth, not matching yeah. in perspective with the plates a little bit. Oh, interesting. Uh, but uh, other than that, I think the color, color palette is really great. Um, design is awesome. Like, I love the font here. I would just spend a little bit more time on the actual image because I can tell it's been photoshopped. And you okay. never want to know Definitely that these it's shadows. been photoshopped. Yeah. Yeah. And I always think, like, there, nothing beats, like, even if it takes, I mean, literally, it's a plate on a table take a reference photo and just study it. And it, the more you can work from real life, you yeah, should do yeah. so. But um, awesome, like, it, mm -hmm. the advertising works. Like, Yeah. It, I like this part. I like any time you have, you know, let's make it interesting, cut yeah. like this, and this is breaking the border and stuff like that. Absolutely. So, so good yeah. design approach and also like the concept with the heart, really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. very cool. All right, so let's move forward some it's this is more like ooh, this is a good one there's another one in there that's really good okay Fun. let their imagination some fly. some uh retouching and like uh, people retouching and just generally retouching it's nice mm -hmm. very poppy yeah. cool yeah it's like it stands out it's kind of like brightly colored and yeah. everything yeah my only thing cool. is i like think you would say that this isn't at the same angle as the floor right <laughs> Is that one thing you're in? Well, know. no, I feel like it's like a thing of its own. It's a design oh, okay. part part of the design element. No, I wanted to say that the uh, like what shadow. stands out to me is the shadows uh, mm -hmm. under the boxes. Yeah, something I would spend a little bit more time on. Yeah, uh, but other than that, I think it's a very very beautiful image. Yeah, it's really fun to look at. Get mm -hmm. Nice strong colors. Let me go to this one real quick. Even more f uh, Photoshop compositing. Lindsay Palmer, good to have you here. Uh, yeah, you are a little late. We'll just go ahead and start from the beginning. <laughs> should, I, should I do this piece the third time? <laughs> yeah, just do it all again, exactly the same. OK, so that one's not loading. It's probably a very large image, but fun to look at, too, by the way. I want to see the double portrait thing. Ooh, this one? Yeah. Cool. Is it just one image, or are there more? I think there's more. Let's go to that. The quiet before the storm. Mm -hmm. I would love to see some of that light spilling over onto the, like, this type is lighter on this side and the oh, darker yeah, that on that be, side. That would be really good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, like, it's done here. This is good. That's as smart and intuitive. Mm -hmm. um, or okay. even any time, like, there is this, like, what if... What if it's a little lower and is it is it over the or under the text or is Absolutely. like are you playing with yeah, that depth? Yeah, I would also mm. spend a little bit more time comping the hands. Like you have this one very hot like um, melting metal hand, and mm -hmm. then I would add just like a like this glowing haze in the air around it. And, oh, okay, yeah. And uh, with the in the same with the trident to have a little bit of this haziness around it, like glow out of okay. it. Okay, like it's hot yeah. and it's yeah. like hot and steam, like smoke. Yeah, because um, he already has all the 
effects around it just needs a little bit of this atmospheric glow. Yeah, I, I agree. And I'm, I'm not fully sold on this being in the hand. I feel mm -hmm. like at that angle, it would act, if it's in the hand, it actually comes straight up more. So you could just use Pop-It Warp and tilt the hand down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's a great image and like this it has a concept again. Um, the colors are nice. Just uh, and I would take I would take these two. I'd make these two big stamps like in the background. Mm -hmm. It's weird that they're just kind of like floating right there. Mm -hmm. I'd want to have like this big. Oh yeah, this is design this is, wise. It also fill the space with the yeah. Nice. Just like here's a stamp. Yeah. And there's this side, and they're gonna go to battle. But let's get to those faces. Great job. There's like a lot of work, a like lot you're of saying. Pumping, yeah. A lot in one. But in this one, that's what we talked about, guys. Today, that mm -hmm. blacks have to be darkest in the foreground yeah. and. Uh, a, oh. a little bit less contrasty on the background. Good. That's like so to good. me, the first thing which stands out that blacks on the ship right now is mm -hmm. the darkest spot. Like blacks on the ship and also on the bridge mm -hmm. is the darkest blacks, and uh, like um, that instantly stands out to me. So just to check it, always would be awesome. But yeah, I that's think such it, a good point that you brought up today. I think it's a, a like a great comping and and not an easy task. Lots of you're, work. Yeah, you're building out a whole scene here. Absolutely. So I like the richness of it. The H, this high dynamic range look. This I is. Like this. I think this is like. I feel like this is the strongest yeah. one. I I agree. I think it's just like design wise and just mm -hmm. like the um, images which were used. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fully, mm -hmm. fully agree, man. Lots of great work. stuff, and it looks like other people might have uh, some thoughts. Oh, let's let's go into like the latest uh, projects. And then Album first. art, can we? Nice. Cool. Yeah, I yeah, like, it's I a like nice this texture. a little bit of the effect. Yeah, the texture on the person mm. and uh, the type. Oh, type work is good. Uh huh. Really like it. I'm trying to th see what. Oh, this is he fun. Is stronger at. This is kind of like a collage -y thing. Uh huh. Oh. I'd watch it. Like honestly, the placement of that hand is like not quite working. <laughs> like no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel uncomfortable looking at it. Like it's he it. might as well be just like putting his arm around him. It's also probably because it's just one photo and he uh, cut it out like this. Oh, do you think? Probably. Maybe. But I don't know. On the other hand, there is like the shadow. I know. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I like the overall idea, like the black and white photos with these pops, of, like the yeah. color. Yeah. That's a good. If it was, if it was a cool full color photo, I don't mm -hmm. know if I would like it as much. You know? Yeah. I don't know. No, I like this uh, juxtaposition of different styles together. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I clicked on it. I think it's great. I the only thing like what I would do if I, it was me, I uh, would um, change the shadow. Mm -hmm. Like I would make this bottle stand, so I would place the shadow underneath the bottle. Yeah. Uh, and uh, to put it like sort of on a psych, mm -hmm. and uh, to dial back. Agree, a hundred. Yeah. The, this pottery texture on the background just a little bit. Okay, yeah, might be. Uh, now, if if that shape instead of it just being random triangles, if it was the shape of the logo, so it's that stamp as a pattern. Yeah. Then that's okay. Yeah. Like you're reinforcing yeah. the brand, but right now it's just like a texture. And I fully agree. And I think, like, what's your overall advice for for Bobby? This is what I'll call him. Like, cause I feel like he's, does he just need to study, do just some more compositing, like yeah, really I think, take a- I think I would totally just dive in into full like Photoshop experience to like, because obviously you can tell he likes comping and mm -hmm. I would just embrace it. Uh, just. I think through. his graphic design skills are like pretty good. Yeah, like the placement yeah, of yeah. things, but I think it's just the, this refinement of working yeah. on these details, like study real photographs, like do you, do do some photography. Yeah. Like study from real the real world is kind of what I'm thinking. Absolutely, yeah. And um, as you said, I think his graphic design skills, all of his fonts, I liked, and mm -hmm. I think it's a strong graphic design approach. But I would just spend a little bit more time on like comping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but his 
his uh, intuitiveness, I think, like his in general, like really strong, f fun colors. Yeah, bold colors. Everywhere. Doing a lot of, this is like a lot of work. We clicked in one of those, like so much work going on in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, super proud of you. So cool. I wish we had more time for these. We're kind of winding down though. And I want to focus on you, but a big thank you to uh, Baboye uh, Oliwola from Lagos, Nigeria. Check him out. And Jean-Baptiste, who's a great student doing some 3D work. A good combination of portfolios that, yeah, you know, impressive. are very applicable to what you do, you know, as, mm -hmm. a, as a professional. Um, Absolutely. Very cool. Well, all right. Well, did you have good. fun? Well, yeah, I had so much fun. I'm <laughs> like, uh, uh, it it was a great experience in terms of like embracing the. Oh yeah, I can just show some stuff. I, oh it, yeah, it's, I it's, just it's, want it's, I want it's them scary. to get what you the, know to just uh, come out uh, from the shell and be like, hey guys, so check mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, <laughs> but it, is. it turned out really fun. So thank you guys for hanging yeah, out with like us. Yeah, like you didn't know what to expect. You like you you are mm -hmm. just a consummate professional, and uh, it's just basically your first and last name, Sasha Vinogradova yeah. dot com. And, and I still didn't Instagram. fix my Instagram word at some point. It's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just like fully impressed with your body of work and your humbleness. And just like all your pro tips, I think everybody agrees, right? Dana and Val and Lindsay, um, mm -hmm. this whole series, and you can watch them in the replay tab, like definitely check those out because these yes, please do. worthy of like a replay. And all you need to do is do what you did, mm -hmm. like with your own assets and yes. just, right? Yeah, my big, my big, big, big advice would be just always start with the ref references. I think it's super important. And then when you pick the photos, on mm -hmm. stock, pick the right one. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the light. You can't just comp one whatever dark image, night lighting with this like hard light, whatever. Just make sure that lighting matches. Mm -hmm. That will make your life so much, so much easier. Yeah. No, that's good. Did you ever do photography? And we're wrapping up here now, but. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, no, never done it professionally. It's something I, th I think like I really need to pick up. Yeah, uh -huh. I have like a thousand more questions for you and I wish we had more time because I think your whole 3D background, like everything, I think there's so much more we can learn from you. And yeah, I'm sure everybody was like, yeah, come back next week. We want more of you. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing. But yeah, just, <laughs> I hope I hope uh, those three days were like enough to just absorb you guys. With some yeah. Stuff. yeah, definitely. So mm -hmm. give her a warm thank you. Thank you, Sasha. We're we're kind of probably a little exhausted and just <laughs> she did, she relaxed. Just slower. <laughs> Even like you were finishing, I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> but we can't get enough of you. That's all I know. And like everybody says, thank you so much, Sasha. Excellent work. Thank you guys work. for having me. Uh, I'm very excited to be here. Yes, we're super happy to have you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, tomorrow we have some live streams, a little XD all next week is UX and UI. Tomorrow morning also is, uh, we have a daily uh, challenge, the, the UX, UI, it's Adobe XD daily creative challenge tomorrow morning at 8.30. So that's your next call time. If you care to join us, we'd love to have you. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you, Paul. We, we you, all Paul. like have fallen and in love the, with you on a platonic well level <laughs> we have. Team. Thank you so much for having me here. We're yes. excited. Also Thank very excited about going home and sleeping my own bed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're awesome. Well, thanks so much, everybody. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. Bye.